who would do something like this? I mean, really, who, we, police still trying to figure out who stole flowers from grave sites at a cemetery in Bristol. Happened sometime between Thursday afternoon and Friday morning of last week, just days after Memorial Day. WSBT's James Fillmore is at the live desk tonight. James, a lot of people really outraged over this one. Yeah, Jennifer, so much so that there's a $500 reward for information that leads to an arrest. From far away, Oak Ridge Cemetery in Bristol looks like a normal cemetery. But when you take a closer look, you might notice some things are missing. Police say hanging flower pots were stolen from around 40 to 55 grave sites. In less than an hour, more than a dozen people stopped by the cemetery to see if the graves of their loved ones still had flowers. Sharon McKesson was one of them. She first heard about the incident from her daughter. She called and said, Mom, uh, did you get flowers from Dad's grave? And I said, well, yeah. You know, she says, well, they, they she told me what had happened. Her late husband, Ira, is buried in Oak Ridge. She was relieved to see that the flowers and other things at his grave were not taken. We was just thankful that they didn't take these, but they did take a lot of people, you know, that they, they paid, you know, money for it, for their loved ones. And, you know, I'm just glad that they didn't get ours. Other families weren't so lucky. Tony Grace's stepmother passed away in 2012, and all of the hanging baskets from her grave were stolen. His wife found out about it before he did, and he walked to the cemetery to see it for himself. He says someone stealing flowers from a grave is disrespectful, and he hopes something like this never happens again. I don't think uh, it was a prank. Usually, when you hear about pranks, you, you hear about damage that's been done. And in this case, there's really no damage. There's just missing flowers. The groundskeeper of Oak Ridge says things have been stolen from that cemetery before. People have been sounding off about this on our Facebook page. One woman says flowers were stolen from her father's grave in New Carlisle. And another woman says flowers were taken from her loved one's grave near Bass Lake in Michigan. Reporting from the Live Desk, I'm James Fillmore, WSBT Channel 22 News. Our job is clear. 